More than 100 teenagers and leaders grabbed their shovels and got to work to make the Pocatello LDS Temple even more beautiful. Local News 8's Linda Larson got to talk to the budding gardeners and found out how it's not just the flowers that are growing, it's their love for their Savior as well. Yeah. Youth groups from American Falls, Aramo, and Downey rolled up their sleeves and got to work to help make the Pocatello Temple even more beautiful. Despite the blazing sun, there were smiles on all the faces as the kids planted hundreds of flowers. They said they were thrilled to have this service opportunity. Once in a lifetime kind of thing. I think it's super special to just be able to be here and leave a piece of me at the temple. Um, and just always, like whenever I come to the temple, I'll be able to see these plants um, that I put in and just to help serve the Lord in his house and to make it the beautiful thing that it's supposed to be. Lots of work was being done, but they were having lots of fun as well. Its name is Lehigh, or Moroni. Naming each flower as they planted it and talking about when they would come back to visit their flowers Aww. and their temple again. So if any opportunity we have to help them feel some type of a connection to the special place, the temple, the grounds, the flowers, um, the things that happen inside the temple after it's dedicated, making and keeping covenants, all of those things connect us to our Savior, Jesus Christ. Most of these young adults are from farming communities and are no strangers to hard work, but they say that this was something very special. Well, it's special to be here because, like, the Lord gave us this beautiful earth, this beautiful valley, and things. It's, it just seems appreciative enough to just decorate his front lawn, you know, and just bond with my friends here, like with the temple, and it's just such a beautiful time. As you can see, some of their efforts are already in full bloom and being enjoyed by all creatures, great and small. Both the youth and the leaders say that this is a great way not only to plant flowers, but seeds of service that will last a lifetime. We see it and we think it's just beautiful, but I think really what that feeling is, is just awe and reverence and gratitude. In Pocatello, I'm Linda Larson. Yeah, that's coming along. It is. Yeah. Tickets are now available for the Temple Open House at Poca Temple. Uh, PocatelloTemple.org. We have the simple link to that with this story at localnews8.com. And it is free for everyone to attend. It runs September 18th through October 23rd.